Hey guys, it's Erin Tony here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time checking out my channel, welcome. My name is Tony. I am a registered nurse and my channel is all about women's health, lifestyle, motherhood, and much more. All right, so to get started, today I'm actually going to be talking about bed bread and how to fix it. And next week I'm going to be talking about pit odor and how to fix it. And then the following week I'm going to be talking about vaginal odor and how to fix it. So ladies, stick around. All right, it's going to be fun. <laughs> I can guarantee you. All right, so what are the causes of bad breath, okay? The food that we eat will cause bad breath. If you have a certain medical condition, will also cause bad breath. Drinking coffee, uh, smoking, um, having dry mouth, or not um, taking care of your mouth in general. So not doing certain things that you should be doing to maintain a good oral health. So we all know that bad breath can be really embarrassing. If you're to tell me that you never had bad breath before, I can't trust you. I cannot trust you, okay? You must have had bad breath sometimes in your past or you're dealing with it, okay? And or you are just not a very honest person. You're not being honest to yourself. All right, but for myself, I've been there and done that. And that's why I'm here to share my experience on how I got rid of bad breath, um, the, like the easiest way and the most affordable way by doing what I will be showing you, okay? So stick around. So how do we end up with bad breath, okay? So let me give you an example. Let's say um, you wake up in the morning, you know, brush your teeth, fine. You have breakfast, let's say you have bread, uh, what you know, let's say toast, bacon, whatever, whatever, juice, and you drink maybe half a glass of water and then you go to work because you need to get to work as soon as possible. Or let's just say you don't really like to drink water that much, so you go to work. After a few hours goes by, you're really not drinking as you should because now you're thinking if I drink a lot of water, then I have to go to the washroom a lot of times, right? So multiple trips to the bathroom, we don't want that. And let me tell you, digestion actually starts from your mouth, from the time that you start to chew. If you think about it, your body is warm, your mouth is moist because of the saliva, all right? So once you put anything in your mouth and start chewing it, digestion is starting from there and then the food goes down, all right? So now let's think of it right now. So it's been a few hours, you had breakfast, you haven't really, you know, had the opportunity to drink water. And so your mouth is kind of dry. That's a sign that first of all, you should be drinking anyway. You should be hydrated, right? So if you think of it, there is a, a huge chance that there is some food particle lingering somewhere in your mouth, either around your gum, in between your teeth, or at the back of your throat, okay? So now because the food has been sitting there for some time, your mouth becomes acidic, okay? And that acid is actually what causes bad breath. So that's the most common reason for having bad breath, okay? So now let's say you have tried so many things out there in the market to get rid of bad breath and it's just not going away. Please go see your dentist and get that checked out. And if your dentist finds that mm -mm, whatever I've tried, it's not working for you, then he or she might refer you to your doctor where your doctor would do several tests to see what's going on with you because it could be just more than having a common bad breath. All right, so some people get diagnosed with um, acid reflux and um, sinus infections or um, maybe something to do with some kind of throat infection. Oh, those things can also cause bad breath, okay? And because of that, the people that are usually diagnosed with some sort of medical condition that will cause them to have bad breath, those people are usually um, very anxious, they're, you know, anxious to talk to people because of course they can get rid of the bad breath so you know their self-esteem is usually low as well because of that and uh, anyways my experience with bad breath i remember it was when i started to date my boyfriend okay now my husband uh so i was what around 19 when i met him and i just felt like okay you know i kissed this man like can you at least 
let me know when I do get bad breath. Like, let me know because I'd rather him tell me so that I can fix it. You know, at least take out a piece of gum and chew it and temporarily fix that problem and move on rather than like him not telling me at all. And let's say we go to an event and um, his family members are there or our friends are there. And then this whole time my breath stinks and everyone can smell my breath and he didn't even tell me like anything for me no i didn't want that experience and so i just told him if you ever smell anything funky please tell me if you're a young girl and who's thinking about dating or if you're just a grown person who's thinking about dating please consider oral hygiene proper oral hygiene it's important okay i can guarantee you that if you are a beautiful woman you can be a 10 out of 10 well dressed makeup on point hair on point everything on point but if this department up here is not doing it you will not end up with a man okay hygiene is number one and same comes from you know woman women expect men to have good oral health okay proper oral hygiene if that's not done it's a turn off all right so let's say if you're a woman a woman can go on a date with 10 guys and if they all end up having bad breath and maybe she will give a second chance to one of them depending on his attitude if he's a good man you know he has all of these qualities but then she feels like there is this one thing that she could just work on you know there is ways to fix it right so maybe that woman will say hey let me let me give him a chance all right I see potential in him so I'm gonna go ahead and give him a second chance and when you know he's more comfortable more open then I'm gonna bring it up to him and if he takes it really bad and you know oh, oh no 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 then let me tell you the girl's not gonna stick around so gentlemen please step up your game in that department if you haven't already um, sometimes as women you know we go on dates and we don't really understand our problem why is it that things are not working out for me. It could be many things, of course. It could be that this is an issue, bad breath, or it could be a pit issue, you just smell, or it could be just, you know, you're not taking care of your body in general. So if you're thinking about dating, please be considerate and take care of your mouth. Um, and you know, this goes to men out there too. Here are the things that you need to do to fix bad breath forever, okay? When I say forever, I mean it. Once again, just as long as you don't have any medical conditions that will cause you to have bad breath, this is for the common um, causes of bad breath. Like I said, food-related bad breath, okay? So number one, you will need a toothbrush. Of course, you will need a tongue scraper, all right? And you will need, of course, a floss I feel like a lot of people don't floss but let me not judge yes floss okay you will need toothpaste I usually try to buy toothpaste that has baking soda and the reason it's because baking soda actually has an antimicrobial and antibacterial property okay so like I said earlier you eat something you end up having bacteria in your mouth that causes bad breath all right, so the baking soda actually helps to fight that. The other ingredient that you will need is baking soda, okay? So like I said, baking soda has an antimicrobial and antibacterial properties, all right? The next ingredient that you need, it will be, um, I have it right here, peppermint. So I'm about to go ahead and show you how to make the mouthwash. But if you're the type of person that feels like you just have no time for this, then guys, I would recommend that you look into this mouthwash. All right. Uh, my husband really likes this mouthwash just because he feels like he just has no time to do what I am about to show you. But guys, this bottle alone, um, it comes in 473 ml. It's about ten dollars. So yeah, that kind of defeats the purpose of you know doing things more naturally and you know saving up money. This is the other toothpaste that I like to use by Tom's. I like it. I feel like it, it gives you that nice freshness 
after you're done brushing your teeth but because i find this a little bit salty i don't know if it's just me maybe it's the baking soda in it or no actually it's sea salt my bad so i do want to point out that um it has sea salt and some of you guys probably know that sea salt has antimicrobial properties as well okay so what i actually like to do is i get a little bit of this and then i mix it up with this but you don't have to do it but that's just me okay all right so first thing you want to do get half a cup of warm water and you can go ahead and add half a teaspoon of baking soda once that's done get um i usually add about 15 drops of peppermint or 20 but you can always do way less than that you can do 10 or you can even do five because it is pretty strong okay so once this is done you can always just have it aside and do the following steps okay so some of you guys might not agree but this is how i do it and i feel like the order might not even make such a difference but this is what i believe okay i think that it's important to floss first because you're getting rid of um the big stuff all right so whatever is stuck in between your teeth you're getting rid of it so you're getting rid of let's say the chunky garbage or the chunky waste all right so you go ahead and floss first once you're done flossing rinse your mouth next you can go ahead and scrape your tongue okay get a tongue scraper if you don't have one guys a lot of the bacteria that is accumulated in your mouth is lingering around your tongue on your tongue okay and once you're done scraping your tongue you can go ahead and rinse your mouth again just with warm water just to kind of help get rid of you know whatever gunk that was in there the next thing you want to do is brush your teeth okay brush your teeth all around i don't have to teach you how to brush your teeth but take your time brushing your teeth okay okay so last step you can do this step twice if you want to okay um sometimes what i do is after the first i gargle i don't just switch and rinse okay so after the first gargle sometimes i go back to my brush and then just kind of brush um again all right and the good thing about baking soda don't forget that it does kind of give you that white smile all right hopefully i don't have any Hmm. I don't have any lipstick hanging around, but yeah, baking soda gives you a nice smile. Yeah, you knew that. Okay, so um, so after I do the first gargle, sometimes I brush. Not all the time, but yeah, sometimes I do it. So guys, you actually want to gargle, and you want to gargle for as long as you can, all right? Once you feel like you can't gargle anymore, then you can go ahead and spit it out. And the reason for gargling is because, like I said, sometimes you have food kind of sitting around this area, right, at the back of your throat. Um, and so that's why you want the solution to kind of go as back as possible. Um, just a little recap. Guys, as long as your issue is food related, then this will fix the problem. But then if it's a medical condition, this might help a little bit okay so um the other thing that i actually want to maybe point out um so what i used to do um before the whole pandemic like when i knew that i was going to an event or anything like that what i would actually do is um i would carry like a bottle like this with me and i put some of the solution in my bottle okay of course sometimes i had my gum and sometimes i didn't but guys once you do this um combination this solution it's just amazing i i swear by it it works at least it works for me okay so if you're going out on a date or going to an event or whatever you can always put some of the solution in here and carry it with you and if you have a smaller bottle even better right 
yeah and guys men you can do it too if you um want to use some sort of essential oil see if you can even talk to your doctor about it um, because of allergies some people are just allergic to essential oils as well and so I don't know how you would react if you never had um, pepper mint or just essential oils in general so when it comes to oral care you want to do it at least you know before you go to bed so at bedtime and you also want to do it in the morning all right some people say brush your teeth or floss after each meal it's not realistic okay we go to work we're busy do you really think I have the time to go and floss right after I have um, a steak for lunch I don't think so so um, common sense common sense real you got to be realistic right so at least brush your teeth in the morning and um, and by and at bedtime if you don't have time to floss and you know do the whole thing that i just showed you then it's okay and the thing that i showed you the solution you can just do it at least um once a day once a day is sufficient i will suggest in the morning okay at night time it's up to you it's up to you if you want to do it two times but it will be probably the best thing to do do it in the morning and at bedtime, time guys come back next week you do not want to miss the hot topic i will be talking about armpit odor that's another huge issue that uh, a lot of us have had or have guys i have been there and done that and i found the solution as well all right to getting rid of pit odor vaginal odor so i'll see you guys next week don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know your opinions. Uh, let me know what works for you and um, if you have actually tried this method before. All right, guys. See you next week. Bye.